before I even started my YouTube channel, I got a lot of requests to find out how I did the wrap a lot curls and asking about my technique and which size I had. So I figured I'd answer all these questions at long last. Um, the wrap a lock, yes, it is like a pipe cleaner, um, but they are sturdier and definitely more expensive. Um, I have used pipe cleaner before. This is um, one pipe cleaner in half, and it looks about as thick as a wrap a lock, but it's really not because most of this is fuzz and you can squeeze it down to almost nothing. Um, also, the pipe cleaners are sharp at the end. Um, my mom has used them and she says they stab her head and it drives her nuts. So the wrap lock is sealed at the end. It is thicker and, and sturdier. You don't have to fold them in half or combine them to get them to be thick. Um, they just are what they are. I purchased the long ones and then, and they were just way too long. Um, I didn't need anything this long to wrap my locks um, around. So I cut them in half. And now I have enough. I bought, I believe I bought like two packs, two or three packs. I don't remember now. And, and I cut them in half and now I use this. Um, I'm going to show you my process. Um, I've already done most of the back of my head already. So now I'll show you the front. So I've been slowly pulling out sections of hair from my ponytail holder. I don't like to do this while my hair is completely soaking wet. The curls came out so tight that it looked ridiculous. My hair was, my hair, when I pulled the curls, that looked exactly like this. I mean, it looked exactly like this. So I like to do it with dry hair um, and then I dampen it with a spray bottle. So first I'm just going to put a little bit of this leave-in conditioner. Um, Shea Moisture African Black Soap Balancing Conditioner for Dry Itchy Scalp. I'm basically putting it on my scalp because I do have that dry, itchy scalp. I washed my hair a week ago now. And whatever's extra, I'm just kind of pulling through my hair. And now I'm starting to spray at the root. Get my towel down. And what's really important is that you spray, your hair needs to be pretty evenly dampened. dampened. Um, any variation in that will definitely make your curls look a little bit different. So I'm wetting it enough that I feel that each lock is damp, like I can actually feel the moisture as I, um, when I pinch it so that it did penetrate the shaft of the lock a little bit, but not so wet that it is dripping. Again, I would have done it from soaking wet hair if I wanted it to be completely wet. So again, it's like a medium dampness, not soaking wet, but enough, wet enough that when I squeeze it, I can feel that the water actually penetrated my lock. So now I'll show you what I do. There are two ways to do this. The package recommends, I'm, I'm, I always, again, I just briefly re-twisted the root of my hair before I begin. As with every style, I always retwist a little bit. Um, I'm gonna move in close. I'm, I'm wrapping my hair around the, the bottom of the wrap lock. I'm rolling up just a little bit, and then I'm folding under the tip. And then I just start twisting. I am using one lock on each one. Um, that is how I achieved the perfect spirals and pictures that you might have seen and consistent. When you put more than one um, lock on the curler, you, you'll still get some nice curls, but you can't control the perfection of the spiral because your hair is overlapping. So what you might have noticed is as I started to twist up, my, the root of my lock unraveled completely. So as I get up here, I've learned to start twisting this around to retwist the top of the lock. And then continue to roll, twist to make sure that it's tight. And then I stop about, I guess, a little more than an inch, maybe an inch and a half from the root. 
I found that when I twisted all the way to the root, the spiral starting there just made my hair just stick out. So I want that little dangle room so I can guarantee you, regardless of how the curl comes out, it's not going to just spring off the side of my head. It's going to dangle and then have a spiral. Um, the package wrap a lock um, suggests that, so again, I'm just feeling to make sure that this is as damp as I'd like it. It feels a little bit dry at the top, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water. So they suggest to wrap it underneath and then roll upward. You know, um, fold the bottom piece around and then wrap up. The benefit to this is that as I'm going upward, my lock is not unraveling. It um, is actually um, twisting in the correct direction. However, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've tried this a few times. I didn't like it that way, but I do think that it's worth trying it out yourself to see. Um, when I did, when I did it um, rolling upward, I also that time did it with soaking wet hair and the curls were just crazy. They were so tight that I did not enjoy them at all and I ended up spraying my hair at work and rubbing water in it just to calm them down. Um, so it could have been the fact that I rolled it upward or it could be the fact that my hair was soaking wet um, that caused the issue that day. I don't know, but ever since then, I stopped rolling upward and I'd just rather do this little retwisting at the root as I go because it doesn't take that much time. So again, I'm stopping about an inch from the root of my hair. Um, a good place to tell when to stop, for me on most of my locks, there are some exceptions, is about the point where your hair actually starts to lock. I leave all the loose hair out of the curler. So I'm going to show you one more time and then I'm just going to speed up the process. Oh, another thing is that when I ran out of wrap -a locks I'll just say this really quickly. When I ran out, um, what I started to do was use a few pipe cleaners. I gave a lot of them to my mom. But I twisted together um, several pipe cleaners. Let's see if I... I'm going to start with two and see if I feel like it matches the sturdiness of a wrap -a lock So two is still, still thinner than one wrap -a lock So I'm going to go to three and see if it feels even. So I think three might be the magic number. So if I run out of my wrap -a lock tools, which I'm running low, but I'm also almost finished, um, I will, and that's just because I've lost them, um, because I did have one for every lock before. So now this looks crazy thick, that's because of this fuzz, but it feels, it's about as sturdy as a wrap -a lock now, um, three pipe cleaners. Um, but in any case, still my, my preference, I think that these were definitely a great investment. My mom's hair is about the same length as mine, and she ordered the medium-sized ones. So that um, for hair that's around my length, if you can see how long that is, it's like right um, above my, my bra strap um, when my hair is down. Um, if your hair is this length, medium length would probably be sufficient, but if you want to hustle a little bit like I did, you'd purchase the long one. You'd purchase the long one and then cut them in half and then they are about the size, the same length as the medium tools. So just my two cents. I'd like to point out is that I am not using setting lotion. So many ask, how did your curls last so long? I have never, ever, ever had an issue with curls of any sort, especially these, um, lasting um, without setting lotion. I mean, I don't know if it's just about how tight these curls are, but in any case, I've never used setting lotion. I'm, I'm not convinced that setting lotion would make any difference with locks. So again, the last I think the last pictures I saw um, I, that I've posted of these curls, and we'll see how they come out this time, 
I had my um, these curls for like close to three weeks um, and they definitely dropped but still looked really good um, just a little bit different week after week and I never used any kind of setting lotion sometimes I might use um, like the twisting gel just at the root of my hair as I'm doing it but not really on the shaft of my lock I try to avoid putting stuff directly on my lock as often as possible um, just to keep it um, other than moisturizing products I don't really put um, a lot of gel and stuff on the actual shaft of my lock. Maybe that's right, maybe that's wrong, I just don't. So I am finished. Um, I know that with pipe cleaners, um, you know, people tend to leave them in for a day or so and style them. Um, I don't with the wrap lock. I take them out overnight, although I don't think this looks bad, but I do think the black pieces are just too visible with my hair color. Um, if I were to use a head full of pipe cleaners, it probably would be better, but I am just I am challenged with my hair color finding things that um, blend perfectly. So I am going to sleep with this overnight and if necessary I might run a blow dryer over it if I feel like it doesn't dry completely but the fact that it's a little warmer outside these days I feel like it'll come out pretty well. So I'll take it out tomorrow and tomorrow evening um, I'll show you what it looks like. Talk to you soon. Hey, so here are the results of my wrap a lock curls or curlers. And this is um, the second day I took the curlers out yesterday. And this is day two. I actually exercised yesterday as well. Nothing too crazy, um, but they fell, which I'm happy about because I'm not usually crazy about the first day. It's a little too tight, but it's worth it because as they loosen up, they look really good. Um, so I'll do a little spinny spin so you can see what that looks like and like how tight you know these coils are um when i have some that are uneven sometimes i uh, sometimes we'll put a curler back in there to get it even i had let's see there's one that drove me nuts this is like my thickest lock and something went kind of wrong here and it's not perfect so tonight i might spritz it and try to correct that not that it looks terrible i know that it doesn't look bad but it just bothers me because it's so big and it's right in the front. So I might just fix that. Um, sometimes like I might sleep on it funny and one will stretch out and I'll put one wrap lock in during the day and then take it out later in the afternoon um, so that it can be even and no one even sees it because the rest of my hair is covering it. This is day two. I hope you like it and you know, um, type in the comments if you have any questions that I can help you with, but I hope I covered it all before that. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for all the love, YouTube. It's my journey.